In this video, the world's first hands-on look at the all-new for 2020 RCBS Rebel single-stage reloading press, plus an announcement towards the end of the video you're not going to want to miss. Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. Here's the game plan for this video. We're going to unbox the RCBS Rebel Press. We're going to get it set up. We're going to do some sizing and bullet seating. That's going to exercise this press in the ways that you're most likely to use it yourself. We're going to compare it to the RCBS Rock Trucker Supreme. And then I've got that announcement at the end of the video. Let's go ahead and get the box open. Now, I haven't even looked in here. I saw one of these at the 2020 SHOT Show when I was talking with Will at the RCBS booth. This is my first peek for real. Okay, of course, we've got the instruction insert there. This is a massive press. It's 22% increased mass compared to the RCBS Rock Trucker Supreme that it essentially replaces. Nice heavy duty handle. RCBS does a nice job with those. And there it is. Look at that thing. That is ab <laughs> That's absolutely massive. This thing is a tank. All right. So let's walk through some of the features straight away. This press has the largest opening of any RCBS O-frame press. It's increased compared to the Rock Checker Supreme. I'll give you actual numbers on that when we do the side-by-side -side Comparo. It's got a wider base, so it's gonna be more stable on your bench. This is the same mounting holes and footprint that you have on other presses like the Summit or the Rock Trucker Supreme. So if you already have one mounted or if you have an inline fabrication ultra mount or one of the RCBS mounting plates, this is gonna bolt right on. The primary ejection is now through the ram, you could basically put a trash can under the press. It's this hole right here, and the primers are gonna pop out and go straight into the garbage can. And this was based on your feedback to RCBS. The Rock Checker Supreme has the plastic ramps behind the ram, and uh, you know that could be a little bit uh, troublesome under certain situations and that kind of thing. We've got the Zerk fitting for the lubrication of the RAM. I always like this because it's just less mess to be able to put your grease gun on there, give it a couple pumps and you're good for, for quite a while. It's got the standard 7 8 14 bushing. This bushing is removable and that means it should work with the Hornady lock and load bushing conversion kit or the Lee breech lock uh, type system if you want to convert it. A lot of flexibility there. Uh, this press has the ambidextrous handle mounting. So if you're left-handed or right-handed, you're gonna be good to go there. It's got the same precision machining processes and tolerances that we would have on the, the late model Rock Trucker Supremes. And if you saw my 14 press shootout, that Rock Trucker Supreme was very, very high ranking across all categories. So I feel confident in the, the heritage and DNA of this press. And I like the fact that it kind of takes everything to the next level. Now, one thing you'll see that's missing is on-press priming. I just talked to RCBS about this. I asked, hey, you know, there was on-press priming on the Rock Trucker Supreme. Why doesn't the Rebel have it? What they found was 90 to 95% of people didn't use it and preferred a bench mounting, mounted priming system or a hand uh, priming tool. So, it simplifies the press, it gets some of that mechanical uh, mechanism out of the way, and it helps to cr create maximum value in terms of not adding to the cost. So that is kind of a basic walkthrough of the press. I'm gonna take a moment to get this mounted on my inline fabrication quick change mounting plate. Uh, we'll get it attached to the press, look at it side by side, do some loading. This is gonna be fun, so I'm gonna get to it. When it comes to setup for the RCBS Rebel, there's really not much to do at all. It's really just two things. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to mount the press to your bench. You can drill holes straight through the top of your bench surface and use washers and nuts on the back and bolt it down. And it's really easy to trace. There's side cutouts here that are similar to the RCBS Rock Trucker Supreme. You could use one of those RCBS aluminum 
bench mounting plates. It has the pre-tapped holes. I've used those in the past. Those are very quick and easy to use. Give you a, a large surface uh, with screws that screw into your bench top to bear all of the forces with. In the shop, I use the inline fabrication ultra mount with quick change top plate assembly. So I took one of those top plates. It's got a couple countersunk screws that go up from the bottom. You tighten the nuts down against the washers, drop it into the ultra mount base, tighten two wing nuts, and you're ready to go. The second thing is to install the handle. Now here's the cool thing. I already had my 9 16 wrench out for these nuts for the inline fabrication mounting. This is a 9 16 set of flats at the base of the handle. Screw the handle in, tighten it down, and we're good to go. I load right-handed. I'm actually ambidextrous, but I like to have my presses set up right-handed. There's this other hole on the left-hand side that you can use as well. Next, we're gonna get into sizing. Let's do this. So for our loading, we're gonna do just what we did in that 14 press comparison video shootout. We've got 6.5 Creedmoor once fired brass. We've got Hornady 123 grain, 6.5 Amax bullets. And I've got the same two dies that I used for all of those presses. A Forster full length sizer for 6.5 Creedmoor and a Forster ultra micrometer cedar for 6.5 Creedmoor. I've already lubricated these cases with some imperial case sizing wax so we're going to get to our sizing straight away so this is our number two shell holder it's going to pop right into the ram that is a really nice action because it doesn't take a whole lot of force but it is very definite i don't like it when it takes excessive force to pop those shell holders in it's just kind of a minor pet peeve of mine okay before we get our brass in here we're gonna get the die set up. We're just gonna crank it down into the shell holder. Now, if we were really doing some precision loading for a specific rifle, we'd wanna knock that shoulder back about a thousandth, thousandth and a half for a bolt action gun, and maybe three and a half thousandths thereabouts for an AR, that sort of thing. So we are set up. Let's go ahead and size and deprime. You'll notice that uh, on the ultra mount, the Rebel is set back towards the interior of the press, away from the front edge. And because of that, I put a little tray under the ram to catch the spent primers. If you're mounting right on the edge in a more traditional manner, you're going to just be able to put a garbage can right under the press and be good to go. Feels really good. There's a hard stop. This is not a cam over press. It's got the hard stop and it's, you can feel it very clearly. And the force for sizing, very, very smooth. It's got great leverage. Really liking that. Okay, so now we're gonna set up this guy. Again, I believe we're gonna just turn that in until it hits the shell holder and then back it off a little bit. Okay, there we go. Let's back it off until we can see the micrometer scale. Okay. Now we can take the cartridge. See where we're at here. Okay, so I grabbed a six inch digital caliper. We should be at about 2.8 inches, 2.784. We're gonna call that close enough exact length doesn't really matter here. Lots of room. I really like the O-frame presses and this Rebel has a lot more unimpeded access without that priming system in the way. And I like to get my shell holder set up for side feed. The shell holder snaps in from the other side so you're not going to accidentally snap out the shell holder. Very smooth. Love it. As promised, here's the RCBS Rebel and the RCBS Rock Trucker Supreme side by side. The first thing you're going to notice is just how much more massive the Rebel's frame is. You can see this on the side profile. If I rotate these around, you're going to see this along the end view. This press is an absolute tank. Not only is it heavy and massive in terms of the strength built into the O-frame itself, but there's this larger, 
wider and deeper platform that it's got as an interface between the press frame and the mount or your bench. That is a critical factor because that contacting surface area is gonna help minimize flex. Small amount of area, more flex. Large amount of area, less flex. So I really like that improvement. The other thing that you're gonna see straight away is, I'm gonna twist them this way so you can see this a little bit better actually. Okay, so the top of the base is like a large flat work surface compared to the different levels and contours and this primer catching assembly here on the Rock Checker Supreme. So you know how it goes. You've got some lube that is, you know, working its way from around the ram and it's a squeezing out. You've got prim primers that have fallen out. You've got powder that has fallen for whatever reason. Uh, with the Rebel, it's gonna be real quick to just wipe that down with a towel or rag. And with the Rock Checker Supreme, you, you might wanna vacuum it or remove the primer catcher, whatever it is. I like this surface because it just makes it that much easier to access the shell holder area. As I mentioned, it uh, pops out in one direction and you can twist it to either side depending on which mode you're using, left-handed or, or right-handed. The handles are very similar, but there's a couple slight differences. With the Rock Trucker Supreme, you've got a jam nut here. Whereas with the Rebel, you've got a shoulder right on the shaft for the handle here. And you've got flats. You've got that 9 16 inch wrench flats here to tighten it in place. The interface where that shoulder meets is machined, whereas it's powder coated on the Rock Trucker Supreme. And that's fine because it's got that jam nut. Uh, other than that, the handles are pretty similar. You've got a very similar top surface with what appears to be the same bushing here. And linkages are a little bit different. Uh, both are ambidextrous. That's pretty similar. Both are hard stop. Uh, both have a one inch precision ground uh, main shaft, the ram itself. So these presses, hopefully that helps you uh, to take a look at them side by side. What I want to do next is put these on the scales to see how their weights compare. So let's look at the RCBS Rock Checker Supreme first. 21.7. And then the Rebel. I can feel the difference. <laughs> 25.7. So it's four pounds heavier. <laughs> That's four pounds of cast iron adding to the mass of the press. So there you go. The world's first hands-on look at the all-new RCBS Rebel Single Stage Reloading Press. I will note, this press is available individually and in a reloading kit, which is a great segue to my announcement, and that's that I've worked with RCBS and Mid-South Shooter Supply. As soon as these are available on Mid-South Shooter Supply shelves, we're gonna kick off a giveaway, not just for the press, but for a complete kit. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications because I'm gonna have more details and a dedicated story when that giveaway launches. That will be something to look forward to. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to share your thoughts about this new press, if you'd like to share your thoughts about what you would do with it, please drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. Also, I'm on Patreon. I've got Ultimate Reloader shirts at the Ultimate Reloader store. First link in the video description links to a more fully detailed article, pictures, links to product pages, and so on and so forth. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.